Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Car Addiction. Today, I wanted to show you how a GDI engine works and I will want to explain why a traditional injector cleaner won't clean your intake bulbs. Here's why. On a traditional engine, the engine layout is something like this. And excuse my sketchy drawing. That's the combustion chamber. And you're going to have the intake valve. And you're going to have the exhaust valve. And that's the intake tube, exhaust tube, and the injectors are somewhere around here. It's injecting, it will inject the gasoline mix and the air the cold air will come from here and on the way to the intake valve it will also clean the intake valve uh, because uh, the gasoline has cleaning additives so let's say if you are using a sea foam or a lucas injector cleaner what the system will do is it will clean the injectors uh, the gasoline will clean the injectors on the way and also on the way to the combustion chamber, it will clean the intake valve and it will ex exit. That's a regular convention, conventional engine. In a GDI motor, it's different. In a GDI motor, let's draw our combustion chamber. Let's draw our intake. and let's draw our injector now on a GDI gasoline direct injection that means the gasoline injection happens inside the combustion chamber it's usually somewhere around here though it will sprinkle or maybe for some instance it's actually on top of it that it will sprinkle now when the intake gases comes in and the exhaust gases go out there's no cleaning happening from the in intake gases on a GDI engine you're gonna have crankcase blow off intake coming in around here and the crankcase blow off it's basically vaporized engine oil so you're going to have engine oil vaporized coming through the intake uh, cold air and they all dip, deposit on the intake valve because the injection is not happening where, where the air uh, intake is the gasoline doesn't get to clean the intake valve so over time you're going to have high amounts of deposit on the intake valve which jeopardize the the whole purpose of GDI which basically reduces uh, the combustion efficiency your performance uh, fuel mileage it's the whole thing so how do you clean it the way you clean it is so how do you clean it the way you clean it is you use sea foam or something else So how do you clean it? Well, keep watching the video and I'll show you. What we are going to do is take the vacuum hose off from the brake master cylinder. We will introduce the sea foam through the vacuum hose. We have to make sure no sea foam gets to the MAF sensor. So that's why we are not using the intake manifold. We poured the sea foam inside this pressurized can and connected the hose to the engine's vacuum hose. You can also buy sea foam in a pressurized can and spray the sea foam and the vacuum hose in short burst until the can is empty. 
What I really like about this setup is this conical shape will fit perfectly inside the vacuum hose so there will be no outside air other than the sea foam getting in. After connecting the sea foam can, let the vehicle idle for 10-15 minutes so the sea foam slowly seeps into the intake manifold and on all the, the carbon buildup. Then go in, rev the vehicle between 3 to 5,000 RPM so it starts smoking and all the sea foam will be flushed out. Repeat the procedure a couple of times until the vehicle stops smoking and the can is empty. Before you hand over the vehicle to your customer, please make sure all the smoke is out of the system. And if there is any engine light showed up due to the procedure, please clear the DTC codes. Please like and subscribe for more awesome car videos.